All right, mud lovers. I'm here with Terry today, and together we're going mudlarking in a stream. Hopefully, we'll find a few treasures because Terry's got permission over here to melt detect. He's found a few good things, so we're hoping that between us we can get some luck in the river muck. And there he is doing a bit of pruning. I thought we were treasure hunting, Terry, not gardening. <laughs> Don't you a big gardening, please? Can't yeah. take him anywhere. Half cleared. Half cleared. Let's okay. Do this. We've got the access. Let's go and have a look, see what we can find. This is our playground for the day. Very shallow. We've had a bit of a drought here. Well, we've had at least two weeks of really, really dry, hot weather. It actually poured down yesterday, so I'm surprised it's as low as this, but I suppose it might be a good thing that it's actually flowed and cleaned it out a little bit, so. You lost one of us already. Damn it, I missed it. It'd have been good on camera to film that tell. <laughs> Shall I do it again? Yeah, I'll get, what, what, I can always put it on you being framed if the YouTube thing don't work out. <laughs> yeah, well, I suppose we just better get down there and start detecting away and see what we can find. Yeah, it'd be interested to see any bricks we find there, if there's any graffiti being done on the bricks from back in the day, because they are um, 17th century bricks, I believe, down there. Oh, really? From the Gold Crossing. We'll see. Oh, nice one. Yeah. Oh, we have to get some luck in that there river muck. Rather than help you, I'm just going to film you. <laughs> yeah, hand of friendship. Oh, mate, there's a nice shiny surface to these leaves. Right. Well, uh, you've got two foot, three foot you jump. Know, these are not good for this sort of lark nowadays. A bit twole for all this. So at least you can fall on your ass if you fall down. Whoa! I'm in. You're in. Cool. Well, look, it's, it's all of, we weren't going to wear waders today, but it's all of, half an inch deep, so uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, when we was here last time, Terry, it must have been about a foot yeah, or two was, deep, mustn't it? Yeah, it was up here somewhere, yeah. Good news. Little tip for you, if you want to go river hunting, do it in the summer. <laughs> the water's are low. <laughs> so, first signal. Let's see what it is. Now this is quite near where we came down, so it could just be that it's been used as maybe a common area to come down, so it might just be a bit of rubbish or a nail or something, but it's giving quite a high reading. Is it out? It is out. Let's see if I can just pinpoint Oops. it. Stop. Shotgun cartridge, tell me. No, it's no. got a little, it looks like it's part of a clock. Oh, it's got like a... Um, uh, oh, it's a gear of some sort. Little gear, yeah, clock gear, maybe. All right, well, we can hang on to that for a bit. Yep, now we'll go into the uh, finds pouch. First find out of the way. Now we know the detector works, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've just been digging around here. Although there was a couple of signals, it was tin cans, but we did find a few bottles that were just... Down in here, we found a jam jar which we thought might be full of coins, but alas, it yeah. wasn't. And uh, shippings paste there with a the meat paste in there, quite common find, but it's in good condition for what it is. So, we'll keep looking. Yeah, maybe there'll be some more bits and bobs. Jars and stuff are a good sign, means that people were dumping their stuff here. Terry's got a new pet. Hello. My name's Colin. <laughs> Colin the... Crayfish. Look at it. Unfortunately, he deed. It's not something from Alien. He's ugly bugger, isn't he? Look at them pincers. Let's have a little closer. No, what, Stay there. What, yeah. I, what I don't know is if he's a native one or one of these invasive species because he's quite a big one isn't he? Hmm. Do you want to try and eat him? I would have done but it just smells a bit like it's gone off. Yeah. <laughs> See, a bit, yeah, yeah it's a shellfish a for you. <laughs> Look at it. 
How cool is he? <laughs> <laughs> you this like something from Predator. That looks like it's a little dead person. The rib cage, man, that is freaky. <laughs> that does look like an alien though, doesn't it? It does, very alien-esque. It's like his back legs are his pincers, but obviously he's upside down. What a lovely specimen. <laughs> Poor little sausage. There he is, look. He's found his first river bottle of this particular stream, anyway. Oh. Okay. First, first, first decent bottle. Nice one. Contents. <laughs> well, surely you can take a sip then, Tell. Yeah, I'll save that for later, I think. Let's have a little close up. I've just been bitten. I didn't do it. I can't see any marks on it. That's maybe, nice. Maybe something on its base. Yeah, I think that it's going by the um, going by the neck. Where's the seam? Is it three part mould or two part mould? I haven't seen the seam on it yet. Yeah, it's not free blown, it's definitely put no. in a mould. Yeah, yeah. Uh, free part mould. Right. So, yeah. uh, slightly earlier, just before, oh, 1900s, I'd say, in that one. It's a nice bit of black bar. Yeah, it's very well made, so it's quite uh, sophisticated. No marks on it. No. So Beer bottle, probably, or yeah. wine. Yeah. What well until? Ta da! It's a bit deeper over here. Another little modern bottle. So I've just pulled out the umpteenth tin can, which is annoying. But I've just found another little, another little signal down here, and it's somewhere in there. I think it might be this little thing. So what is that? So we can wash it off. Don't know. Interesting. Now Terry has been metal detecting for how long, Tell? Oh God. Uh, 45 years, 40 years. 40 years man and boy, so he's seen absolutely everything. So he will be able to tell us instantly <laughs> what this thing is. No pressure. You ready? Yeah. Ta-da. Intriguing, I think that's part of uh, maybe an oil lamp where the, you've had the wick through there and the flame. Oh right, nice one. I think. Just an ornate piece of containment for the top of a oil lamp. Yeah. I think. Could be wrong. I can't think of anything else it could be. No. I was hoping you would say, I haven't got a clue. I've got a clue. Yeah, hey, I've done it. But to be fair, it's still one of those mystery items. Yeah. Ah, interesting. Okay, we'll carry on going. See what else we can find. Right, I'm going to don my waders. Oh, Terry's off. And I'm bringing me crubbers. So if you want to go up any further, I'm going to cut that bit back. Oh, right, lovely. Yeah, we have a plan. And I'm then... going to... So I'm going to go this way with the detector. Yep. And you're going to go to deeper parts that way. Yep, after I've cut that back for you. Lovely. All right, sounds good to me. Right, where do we get out? <laughs> um, well, Terry's found more creatures of the deep. Got a live one. Whoa. He's eating a dead one. That one on top, the red one, he is alive. And he's mounted on top, unless he's just shed his shell. Oh, yeah. That's a possibility. That is right, he shed his shell, man. That's awesome. Should we put him down here and see if he has a wiggle? Look, look, you see his legs? Look, he's kicking. He's kicking, look. There you go. Oh. Hair's running. <laughs> yeah, he's just shed his skin, hasn't he? He's probably very vulnerable at the moment because that's a bit going to be soft, isn't it? So you could bite into him. <laughs> He's only, got, only got one claw though. Oh man. He's harmless really. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He's not happy, is he? Look, he feels threatened. Maybe his other claw is still in his... Nah. nah, he's missing. He's probably lost it in a fight. Pick him up again. Not that I'm trying to lie. I just want to see if I can get his... Uh... Eyes? No, take his shelving off for him. You want to help him out? That's it, put him on the thing. Oh no, maybe that is a... No, I think he's just shed, hasn't he? Go on, put your hand in there. Do it. 
No, you're right. And in it. He looks a bit useless, that claw, doesn't it? I don't think he's well. Hey, look at the, the look at the. There you go. Look, yeah. The ends of his legs are little claws too. Look, they're not just plain little legs. They've got pincer things. Look. He ain't very no, he ain't very happy, is he? Let's no, put him not. back. Not very happy at all. Oh my god. I like, I like bright right. I've got a feeling he's not. He doesn't. Uh, not long in this world. I'm just putting back. At least we're taking whatever that was. I don't know if that was. That doesn't look like a shell. No, it's empty. No, 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 no. It's empty. No, look at the size difference. True. But then they come out and expand, don't they? It's the idea of it. How do they? They, just... they come out and expand and then dry off. He might be in the expansion process. Oh, no, that's got like ribs and stuff in it. Well, perhaps he was eating it then. Easy meal with his useless claw. He's going to eat whatever he can, isn't he? We're going in. Bye. There's a lot more home in the water, isn't he? That's probably why the other one died. I've seen little teeny fish in here too, so there is something around for him to eat. Going into the deep. He's going to float off downstream. He's walking backwards, mate. <laughs> walking back to Christmas. Oh, no, there, there he goes. goes. He's running. So I've just dug, I've got a signal there and it was uh, really hard because it was really old riverbed. Look, it's, the river's got really shallow here so this would have been covered in water but I thought I've got to dig it out because it's going to be old if it's down all the way down there because it's been grown over and this is what came out. A little sign in the shape of a shield that says 4D. <laughs> so maybe it was part of a shop sign or something or pricing thing it's got a little uh yeah so i reckon this would be on like fruit and veg stall or something like that it's got some other letters on there p-e-r per pound it says there per the bottom left there per and then bottom right pound that's quite cool let's see if i can get a bit clearer it reminds me of the old Route 66 sign or, you know, all the general routes, motorway, freeway routes around America. There might be some other writing at the top there, it looks like, but it's very faded. That's quite cool though, very unusual. Never expected to find that. That's one of the great things about this hobby. You really cannot predict what you're going to find, especially in rivers. Now, Terry was probably alive when this was an actual thing. <laughs> nice little shield, isn't it? Uh, it's got to be like an old pricing label or something, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's got from the like the greengrocers or something. Would have had that plugged in behind his nanas. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, because at the bottom there, it's got I think it says per pound. Oh, right. P R L B. Yeah, yeah, I can see. So four, four P, four, P four pennies. Pound. For a pound. Um, what's it say at the top? Yeah, I can't quite read that. Maybe that's the I don't know, LF or something or unusual though, isn't it? Cool, isn't it? Yeah, I wonder if that'll clean up better. Probably will, probably will. That's yeah, a nice little keeper that. In the old days. It was well deep as well. Well, I've got a, a signal down there. And when I dug out the first lump of spoil, this came out to seal on the surface. Anybody know what this is? It's a little stone. Do you know your minerals? I'll probably be able to find out by the time uh, I put this video up, but yeah, it's a pretty cool little unusual stone. Almost feels like turquoise, but it can't be, can it? I don't know. It's got a nice little shiny things in there, but a nice little um, stone. It's me, the, the variety of finds I have is unbelievable. I'm looking for coins and relics and stuff, but I'm just happy with a blue stone. <laughs> anyway, let's see what's in that hole. Oh, 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 I think I see coinage. I think I see coin. Let me just turn this around. Look, that looks like a coin right there. Okay. Yeah, you've got a coin. Okay, let's guess. It looks to me like it's a penny, old penny. Um, 
I'm going to say it's probably George V because they're very common. I'm hoping it might be something better, but you never know until you get it out. <laughs> Not far off. Definitely an old penny. Um, date 19. Can't quite read that. I think it says 30. Oh yeah, 1938, which would make that George the Sixth. I was hoping it might be in our silver, but to be fair, that's in pretty good condition. I'm over that. Found a coin. Got a coin, tell. Coinage of the finest order. No, it's not really the finest order, but it's. Uh, just wanted to say that. nice to find a coin finally. Let's see it's cleaned up already. What's its era? 1936. It's only a penny but cool. it's alright isn't it? There you go. A long distance shot of it. Oh hang on. Oh no it's not me. Uh, no it's not you. It's it's your son. <laughs> it is George VI. Yeah. yeah, we very often remark that Terry's profile, if Terry looks to the left, yeah. is it that way around? I think it is that way around. Because he's yeah. the other way around. So. so yeah, he looks he reminds us of uh, George V, oh, I would tell. <laughs> so, uh, I'll put up a yeah, if you hold still. There we go, look, you can see how much he looks like George V. Hang on a sec. You're getting better now. Oh yeah, that's it, that's the one. Haha! <laughs> right George, let's crack on. <laughs> Did you find anything down there? I found a big pile of them oldy weldy bricks. Oh nice one. Big pile. I brought one back. Okay. So maybe we can get some Is that what is that what's in your uh Yeah. That what's there, is it? That's your oldie weldy brick? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my uh, phone brick. Nice one. Oh we'll have look at, yeah, we'll have a look at those later. Nice one. Yeah, I only bought one back because it's damn heavy, but we might be able to get someone to date it. So right. I've got a signal down here. You can't quite just hear that, but... It felt like it was round, but I'm not sure if I've actually booted that out. Whether it's just a... Uh, probably just have a tin can, but... I just know where that is, then maybe I can try and... Get it out. Dig it out. It's pretty deep. It is deep. Oh look, some more of those come closer. Oh yeah, see, see, see the blue stones. All oh, those blue stones. Yeah. Yep, blue stones. Pretty cool, aren't they? They are cool, very cool. How come the river's got loads of them in it? Cool nose. Yeah. Look at that. That's two spots now, I've had those blue, there's another one there, but I've flicked it back in. Anyway, let's see what else. Hmm. Back to the target. Oh, that is so deep. There's going to be more blue stones when that shovel full comes up. Sorry. There's another little one there. Yeah, I've got it. Keep hold of them. I'm prospecting for blue stones. I know, they've gone away from the target. Oh, is that it? Oh, bloody oh, hell. Oh, mate. Still, we found some blue stones. What blue stones? Well, we've only found that, but we found some blue stone, so by default, or by accident, we found some other good stuff, so you never know, you're looking for one thing and you end up finding something completely different. Stone. Should we see if we get any more, um, any more stones? Take, yeah, take a, yeah, a surface gravel, let's have a look. There you go, they're everywhere. Another one? That one. That's well, no, I'm not sure if that there. 
There you go. All right. Look, we've got three of them there. One. What the Two. Three. Oh, look. Look at it. <laughs> it's like more gems on the Thames. There's another couple of little ones. Oh, I can see one just there. Come, we don't want the little ones anymore. Big ones. Yeah. 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 Some of them are nicer than others, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. A big one there. There? Yeah. The big one? Caught, the blue caught my eye. Maybe not. Maybe it's not a big one. Yeah. Mediocre. No one on top. Tiddlers in there, aren't they? Oh, that won't one. I want a tiddler. I think you might have got washed off. Oh, I don't think they're particularly, particularly rare. They can't be. Look, that big one there. It's weird because there's like an undercurrent of white underneath them yeah. where they've been rolled and worn in the river. Well, that one's not, look, that's, that's what you want, that one. Oh. <laughs> I, I see it. <laughs> that's what you want to drop it. That sort of colour. All right. This is like a garnet fever. This is. That's a nice one. That's a good one. Oh, that's oh, the best one so far. That's the purest blue. It's <laughs> 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 so over some blue. So blue. blue <laughs> I think we're going to have to move on and do something different because we're getting excited about blue. Right, one more scoop. Oh, I can't resist. This could be it. The biggest blue. Little diddy one there. So I reckon someone might, might be able to make something out of it. Oh, I just saw a nice one there. Might have to wait for that little bit of a. Bit of <laughs> wait for the cloud to go. Right, don't kick up anything, tell. I'm not kicking. <laughs> I'm not kicking nothing. Well, I'll see what they'd look nice in a fish tank. Cool. You need a few thousand more though, wouldn't you? I bet that's what they're from. Fish someone's, tank. Someone's emptied their fish tank into the river. Oh, where's that one gone? Hold on. There you go. Got him. All right. So you think we might be rich? I reckon so, mate. Oh, look, look at that. Look at that pan. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Two grown men getting yeah. excited over some blue, blue stones. Right, I'm starting to lose interest now. Oh yeah? Unless you tell me they're worth 20 quid each. They're worth 20 quid each. Carry on. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one as well. Oh, that's a lovely one. A lovely one. All right then, I've had enough as well. We know where oh, they are. One more. We know where they are if we want more. It's just interesting, isn't it? You know, like not everything has got to be, not everything's got to be made of metal. To be interesting, it could be natural. Just like gold. Gold. <laughs> Silver. Silver. Or blue, blue. strange, <laughs> stony, fish tanky objects. But blue. Purest Whatever. Blue. It's all good fun. Yeah. Right, we're going to wade her up and go a bit further down. And I'll retrieve. Well, I've just found a bottle down there and Terry's going to do the honours. <laughs> okay. Nicely, firmly wedged in the mud. Nice square. Well, yeah. This is quite cute, isn't it? Yeah. Again, no real age to it, but that's the total seam right up to the, so that's a two piece. 
three piece that one. Is it? Yeah. Oh, is it, does it go no, all the way to the very top? Right to the top. Okay. Uh, yep. Stand corrected. Yeah. So you're looking at 1900s. It's still a nice looking bottle. 1930s. That's all here. Well, if you want to tell, it's all yours, mate. Well, we'll give them to the landowner. We'll yeah. say, where's the wine? No, we'll give them you drunk it. Ship, 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 ship. Mm. Paste. Are you having a straight tail? Shipman's paste. Oh yeah, or well, something similar. These, yeah, will be shippings. Shippings. Well done. Yeah, we'll give them to Pete. Oh. Well, we've come to the end of the line. Although not really, because we're going to go back and explore a bit further down where there might be a few bricks. But we can do that another time. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll work from the bridge. Down. Oh, there's a bridge, is there? Yeah. Oh, oh, interesting. The perfectly. A little bridge, and we can work down from that. Nice one. So we bring the old snippers. Tell, tell us what you found here. I found a pile of the original bricks from the bridge that once was. Um, whether they're in situ or whether they've been moved, I don't know. But there's so many there, I can't imagine them being moved. But what we need to know is the age of them. Right. Yeah. Well, they like you said earlier, there's no there's no frogs in them, is there? They're solid. They're heavy. There's no maker's mark either, no? No. I haven't seen anything. Just plain. Plain bit of cage. Brick-shaped brick. So our time has come. We have to leave, but not before showing you our finds of the day. Some nice bottles there. So we're going to talk to them. Talk about those in a minute. This, we believe, is a native crayfish. And um, the other one we saw is possibly a signal crayfish. The, the uh, reddish ones were imported, we think. That's what we just read on Google anyway. They were imported so that we could then breed them and ship them out. But they've actually decimated these guys. So that's a, that's a sign that it's actually true. Anyway, I'm not sure if I'm actually talking complete sense there, so I won't bang on about it too much, but yeah, this little guy's brown bread, unfortunately. These are the finds from oh, how long we were out there, an hour or two. Nice little... Um, 4D price label. Yeah. Got to be from a greengrocer's store, all that sort of thing. But there is a, um, and always has been, um, like a farm shop here. Yeah. And I reckon it's probably one of the landowner's own. He'll, he'll know. 1938. Penny. I thought it was 36, but it's 1938. Pretty nice. Surprised to find a coin, even though I was trying to find a coin. Still surprised to find one, because there's quite a lot of other rubbish as well, like shotgun cartridges and bits of lead. Loads of tin cans, which I lobbed up onto the bank, and bits of plasticky kind of, maybe a bit of a window wiper or something like that. Don't know. Possible part of an oil lamp, maybe. But if anyone knows for sure exactly what this is, then please let us know, comment below if you've got another example you can show us by all means please show us this was found in the bridge at the end this is um, a little horse harness ring and these go back quite early if it is indeed the earlier ones these go back to medieval times and beyond they made these forever and we always find them when we're at metal detecting in the field and these little uh, stones are quite cool again we'll have a quick look and see what these probably are but could they be turquoise? Probably not, probably some boring gem that's very common and we're getting excited over nothing but still quite nice to find. I wonder if they'll marry up nicely with the garnet so they can be smoothed out and polished and stuff. You never know, might have a little um, partner for the garnets there. Anyway. We'd, like, we'd like to know anyone's expert on bricks because these early bricks formed the original crossing for this little brook. Um, there are no frog in the brick. They look relatively sort of crude handmade bricks. They're nothing uniform like a m proper mould, is there? They're quite... They're handmade, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of weight to them, but they are soaked in water. Um, yeah, because they're frogless. And I was told they're quite early, but anyone out there knows. Yeah. Can anyone give us a date on the brick, please? Thank you very much. 
And Terry's got a few bottles that he pulled out. Yep. Um, you saw that one come out, the wine that bottle. That one come out, yeah, wine, probably wine, possi possibly black glass, that one. Um, which is a nice bottle, actually. The landowner mm. will like that. Uh, Schweppes, probably. Yeah. Um, milk bottle. M&U Limited. Got to be a milk bottle, but it's, it's just stained black from the from the river water, I think. It's actually got some, is it barnacle things there? Or is that just... It could, nah. be, the, could be the gravel. Oh. Um, that's for the square oh. bottle. I yeah. don't know what that would have been for. Two piece mould goes right up to the neck. It's actually got another bit on the, around the neck, isn't it? Another little part of a mould. So maybe it was like a four part mould. If you look into that. That's mental, that is. That's clear glass though, not, uh, yeah, not black. Yeah, you can see, but this I've got an idea could be black. That is definitely black, yeah. Anyway. There we go, nice little hunt. Well there you go guys, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you've got any comments what these, some of these things are, then please leave them below. And see you on the next hunt. See you again. So there we go mud lovers, what an array of finds. You never know what you're gonna find when you go mudlarking, that's the beauty of the hobby. So I've cleaned up the little plaque as you can see here, and I've discovered it's got the word lemon on it. So this is probably a sign in a grocer's or something like that, a farm shop perhaps, and they were selling lemons at 4p a pound. Pretty cool, sometimes life gives you lemons, but in this case, they gave me a lemon sign. Pretty cool, I'll put that in my printer's tray up here. Excellent. So what about those strange blue stones that we kept getting so excited about? I mean, could they be from a fish tank that someone's poured in upstream and they work their way down? Or are they natural? If you've got any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. I do read them all and I love your feedback, so let me have your ideas. So now it's time for a competition and I'm gonna do a giveaway. It's been a while since I've done one, so I thought, why not, let's do another one. So there's four prizes up for grabs and they include a Mud Lover mug, usually available on the Etsy store, a shrapnel keyring that I find on the Thames foreshore from the Blitz that I make into these wearable keychains. Um, I always carry one because it reminds me of the sacrifices that people have made in the past. Uh, they look really cool as well. After a while they start to wear down and you see the copper or brass shining through. A clay pipe found on the Thames by me. And also on the theme of clay pipes, I have a really special silver clay pipe pendant with a garnet in that I found that Wendy made. So that's four items you can win. I'm gonna do them in two batches. So I'm gonna do the mug and the shrapnel key ring will go to one winner and the clay pipe and the silver pipe will go to another winner. So to be in with a chance of winning, all you have to do is share any of my videos, maybe one that you really like onto Twitter and tag me in it with at si underscore finds. That way I can see that you've entered. The deadline is the 19th of July. So you've got a couple of weeks to do it or maybe get a friend to do it on your behalf, it doesn't matter. Whoever wins, they'll have to give me their address and I'll send out those items. So there's two winners and four prizes split between the two. So good luck and uh, I hope to see your tweets. So thanks very much for watching. Good luck if you want to enter the competition and I'll see you on the next adventure.